Hi everyone. In this video, you will learn how to create a Pareto chart in Power BI to identify the most important areas of focus for your business. The Pareto chart is a powerful tool that can be used to show how a small number of courses lead to a large number of effects. The first part of this video shows how to create a Pareto chart in Power BI and the second part explains how to handle duplicates and ties in your Pareto chart. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so to stay up to date with Power BI, Power Query and Excel videos from Excel Fort. For this example, I created fake data of guest complaints for a restaurant chain. There are three columns, date, complaint and complaint category. There are three categories, environment, quality and service. All complaints are categorized into environment, quality and service. There are 2019 records spread over two years. Going back to the data model, I've got a date table and a complaints table related by the date field. I also created a simple measure called complaints count it counts the number of rows in the complaints table. In this matrix, I have summarized the number of complaints by category. It clearly shows that the service category represents the majority of the complaints. Guest complaints are a serious concern for restaurants. The quality of the food is important, but the service you provide is also equally important. The top three complaints that need immediate attention are the order mix-up, the website not working, and the absence of different payment modes. Solving these three issues will solve a large number of complaints. A Pareto chart becomes handy when there are many problems or causes and you want to focus on the most significant ones. I have already inserted a line and a stack column chart and added the complaint and the complaint count and sorted it based on complaint count on descending order. To build the Pareto percentage, let's create a new measure. Right click, new measure. Let's name it Pareto percentage. First thing, I need to check if uh, one value from complaint is visible. So let me use if is in scope. It will check if one value is visible and it's grouped complain so the approach I'm going to take is I'm going to create a virtual table with complaints and complaint count similar to what you see in this visual over here for that I just need to grab the visible complaints all selected complaints all selected complaints from the complaints data table to create a table with the values, let's use another variable. Let's say complain table, we'll call it. And I can use add column over the variable of all selected complaints and I'll add a column, name it count, and we can call the complain count measure to calculate for each complaint now this is a table uh, that resembles uh, the visual what you see right now so if you want to see uh, how it is calculated we can use concatenate x to display it let's try that so, this, is a, this is a table which will not return any value if you just use it so wrapping it around concatenate x is a good idea to investigate even to know what's going on in your code so let's use concatenate x over complaints table that we created. So I want to get the complaint and and the count. For the delimiter, I will use a line feed so that we'll be able to see every line in a uh, new row. You can use unique 
Anchor of 10. Yes. Let me confirm this measure. What I'll do now, I'll drag and drop this measure onto the tool tip section of this visual. So when I hover my mouse, I'm supposed to see all the complaints and the complaint counts. Now I can calculate the cumulative count using the virtual table by filtering the records where the count is greater than or equal to the current count. So I need to store the current complaint count in a new variable. Let's create one. Call it current count equal. I already have created this measure so I can assign it. Next, I will create another table variable to store the filtered records. So it will be another table variable called cumulative com table. I am going to filter the table that I have created already which is com table where the count is greater than or equal to the current count now that i have filtered the records let's go and modify this concatenate x table i'm returning the same fields complaints and the count let's go and check now how the cum cumulative works if you hover your mouse over the complaints you should be able to see first one we are seeing only the order mix up yeah that's correct and the second one two lines the three lines so that means now if i am in the fourth one long wait time i have got four first four records here so i should be able to add them up and get the cumulative total hope you got the idea here next up i will aggregate the count from this table to get the cumulative total and assign it to a variable i can call that variable cumulative complain here I can use sum x over my cumulative complaints table and I want to aggregate the count so this will return my cumulative total now that we have a value a scalar value being returned I can get rid of this concatenate x and return the cumulative let's confirm the measure and check if you are getting the cumulative count 405 plus 350 755 and 1041 so now we can simply drag this to uh, our line and visualize it so we get the cumulative count right it nicely forms a line chart over here so what we can do now take this value for example uh, 1421 should be divided by the overall total 2019 that's where we get the percentage of the Pareto here now let's calculate the percentage first I need to get the total overall total for all selected complaints all selected complaint count that will be calculate total complaints I already have this all selected complaints assigned to a variable I can use it so this will always return the total fine next up will be my result which is actually the percentage divide cumulative complaint by all selected complaint counts so let's return the result and confirm this measure I need to format it as percentage the Pareto percentages starting from 20% up to 100% so order mix up alone represents 20% of our total complaints. 
right it gets accumulated up to 100 imagine you want to see how many issues must be addressed in order to cover 70 percent of your complaints you can use conditional formatting to highlight them we'll show that with conditional formatting on the column chart on the columns select fx let's apply rule i can choose the Pareto percentage it's gonna be less than or equal 70 percent now it shows four complaints or four issues that need to be solved to cover 70 percent of the total complaints we can even provide a parameter to adjust the Pareto percentage to show the number of issues. So let's go and insert a parameter. Call it Pareto, Pareto threshold a decimal number starting with 1% up to 100. Increment will be 1%. Let's keep it at 70% as default. I should format this as percentages and the measure as well. Now I'll create a measure for the conditional formatting. New measure, Pareto conditional formatting. This will be if Pareto percentage is less less than or equal to the parameter value. In this case, I can assign a color. Let's take dark orange. Now I can use this measure in place of this conditional formatting. Let me clear what I have already assigned. Go back and use field value this time let me use the conditional formatting i have done yes now it shows 70 uh, percent that's my default let me say if you want to cover 50 percent of your complaints then you need to solve two major issues not only that now the pareto chart is dynamic uh, like you can insert category as a slicer over here and slice it by let's say environment you want to find out what are what are the major issues that contribute to the complaints in uh, environment for example if you click on service so there are two major issues that contribute to 50 percent of the total complaints under service so this way you'll be able to analyze using different uh, dimensions so far our Pareto chart is working fine this will continue to work as long as you don't have any ties in your account if you think you are going to get ties then we need to apply a different logic in my next video i'll explain how to handle ties let me demonstrate how the pareto percentage calculation will fail if you have ties for that make a copy of this slice over here and remove category and add year i found a tie in 2021 there is a tie here 30 and 30 looking at this Pareto percentage closely 96.5 at this point when it moves on to the next point it's supposed to add on top of that but it keeps the same percentage this is because a ranking is done for these two values the ranking is same so to break that we need to do a different calculation hope you all enjoyed this video in my next video i will show you how to handle the ties and make our Pareto analysis more insightful and informative. Thank you very much.